He's got a lot to say about the Souls Assassins. That may change after today what he's been through. But nonetheless, Fidel Bravo has got his work cut out for him. I mean, look at look at the size of Blood Eagle. I mean, this guy is put together. I don't think he misses one, let alone day, one hour in the gym. Absolutely not. He is chiseled, looking a lot, resembling a lot like Inferno, who's from the Mecca Body Building. But I'll tell you what, Blood Eagle's right there, man. This guy is uh, this is put together well. What a match that would be. That would be a great match. And Chris, let me tell you something. Chris, um, Manchichi, Daniel Manchichi Ramirez has now taken chair shots from both members of the Solar System. It was Blood Eagle about a month and a half ago that delivered a chair shot of his own to Daniel Manchichi Ramirez and love it. He got one in today. We saw what Labarito could do with those chairs earlier at the hands of Danny Big Mouth Manchi Chi Ramirez. I gotta think though, is that part of Fidel's plan? Maybe playing a little mind games with Blood Eagle. Could be. Call him level tie up. Waist lock from Labarito. Nice take down into a front face lock from one half of the Solus Assassin, Blood Eagle. Now a nice counter into a hammer lock from Phil Bravo. Now Fidel Bravo. An acrobatic on, style, lead. gymnastic style, if you will. Dynamite, the guy is for sure. Blood Eagle. Goodness, that, that could dislocate his shoulder right there. I think he's strong. Yeah. Let me show you. Do we think yeah. strong? Let me show you strength. Yeah. 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 And that did something. I guess we know who won that test of strength. Fidel Bravo, but he's nothing. And look at this. Oh, Randy, and into the near side. That's a lot of punishment being dealt on Fidel Bravo. Now a big stomp to the back of Fidel. We want to welcome Danny Manchichi Ramirez uh, back to the broadcast booth. Oh, yeah, now you're quiet. Now you're not talking out of your snack like you were before. I wonder why. Now they only want. Back in. 
the ring. Fidel Bravo. And look at this. He goes. Top Betty Bravo. Even. Now Del Bravo showing the experience just knowing how to cut off somebody's limb as he oh, trying to immobilize that left arm. Well, El Rey Purana, you gotta think now, both these guys are veterans. Both these guys have been around the block, and it's just gonna take a matter of, oh, look at that, right after. What a smart move right there. Going down for what normally would be a jar or a backstabber. But right to that injured arm. I don't think I've ever seen that before. First time right here, Puno Versu. Rodrigo's well, got those big, huge pythons. But he's only got, you know, he's only gonna get one now. And now, again, the King Man's wrestler right here. Near fall, only a two count. Referee, Scarlett Donovan, right there. And look at this, the first top wrist lock. Into an arm bar. Overhead. Oh, look at that going right after that tricep. Ooh, stop it now. That's a magic strong muscle. Hey, come on. Come on, let's pop those ropes. Come on, let's pop those ropes. Go! Oh, shit! Fidel Bravo having none of it. Oh, right after that left shoulder once again. Say, I'm smarter than you. I'm smarter than my opponent, Fidel Bravo saying. Down for the count, one, two, only two. Another near fall. Talking some smack now to Labarito on the outside of the ring. Solely in the corner of his partner, one half of the Solus Assassin. Uh-oh, puts on the break. Smart move right there. Didn't go all the way. Thinking maybe Labarito was going to trip him up. And now, Fidel Bravo is signaling to that elbow, that forearm shot that we've seen so many times before. Here it comes. Wait a minute. No. Don't get him off. And now, it's Blood Eagle. Going up on the off. Again? Oh, off the top row, from the top! But it looks like he landed on his left arm that's been bugging him for the whole match since the jail started working on it. I don't know why, why the referee doesn't kick out Labarito. He shouldn't be out there in this bonus mind. Did you see the height, Martin Perea, in the elevation? <laughs> For a big man to fly through the air like that is very, very impressive. Blood Eagle soaring like an eagle and taking flight. Man, he flew so high, he almost landed in Peru. No, 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 not you two. Wait, not you two. Off the ropes. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, posterior, no. Look at that nice, beautiful counter into a rope. Only a two count. I thought that was it for sure. Oh, look at that stunner right there on the part of Fidel Bravo. Rolling up. Eagle up. Look at the leg. Could this be it? What? Oh, that was close. Even that kick out as he got that left shoulder up. Even that, during that kick out. I got a question. How much of that take a blood eagle to from that unit? Scarlett is now part of the Bucket Assassins. They pay her off. She 
doing a slow tire at the Del Pins, a blood eagle, and I think she got she got bought off by the Solus Assassins. Scarlet is now part of the Solus Assassins. Give me a break. Give me a break. Stop rambling, jeez. Blood eagle now with the waist lock. Go behind.